In Atato Katoa, good evening. Confronting video has emerged showing just how close some spectators came at an illegal burnout event in Hamilton to being seriously injured. At the event called the Hamilton Invasion, hundreds of people from across the North Island descended on the city for what's known as a takeover. Yannicka Terrell reports. Saturday night in Hamilton and hundreds of car enthusiasts have pulled off what they call a takeover. They've blockaded a city intersection in the suburb of Terapa, so cars from as far as Taupo, Auckland and even Wellington can do burnouts. Enthusiasts say takeovers are a boy racer phenomenon imported from America via social media. The idea is to get as close to the crowd as possible, even skimming their outstretched hands. But if you're squeamish, look away now, because it's about to go badly wrong. As the woman in the grey hoodie walks along the front of the crowd, the car collects her at the knees and she falls. Witnesses told News Hub she hit her head on the ground. She was knocked out, but came around a short time later. On the same night, April 13th, this car loses control and hits six or seven people. But luckily, they came away with just scrapes. Former supercars racer and road safety advocate Greg Murphy has a blunt message for people putting themselves in harm's way. I've got zero sympathy for them. You know, uh, this is what happens when you you uh, participate in a premeditated act and are there to support that act. He wants the act of gathering at a takeover criminalised and offending cars confiscated permanently. We asked him if ACC should cover the cost of any injuries. Any damage that's done, any costs that are incurred, medical, whatever, um, you know, everyone else shouldn't be paying for that. Last year, this man was hospitalised after being hit at a similar event. And Murphy believes the dangerous behaviour, which has been escalating for five years, has now become an epidemic. I'm concerned that someone innocent is, uh, you know, that's not part of, of what's going on here, uh, potentially, um, is going to get injured or killed. And Problem is, once police shut down one event, people often just move to another spot. This footage was taken just outside Hamilton on the same night the woman was hit. A source there told us a rock was all that saved the crowd in this moment. Hamilton's Mayor Paula Southgate says we're seeing this reckless behaviour throughout New Zealand. Along with serious safety concerns, it is also not fair on ratepayers who end up paying for the damage. And the council is trying to stop the behaviour. A light vehicle ban means cars, utes and vans are banned from the street between 9pm and 4am unless they're legitimately accessing a business or home on that street. This approach has been implemented in some industrial streets. But it hasn't stopped this now happening brazenly in one of Hamilton's busiest shopping suburbs. Yannicka Turrell in News Hub.